everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lunax G. This is Ratikant. Today we will see some few things uh, like uh, what is the purpose of your Linux and what you know about the open source and we'll see some new features in Red Hat Enterprises Linux 8 and also we will discuss how to access the command line interface. So let's start guys. <laughs> Okay, so before starting, let's say what is Linux first. So Linux is an operating system or a kernel. It is distributed under an open source license. Linux is a free computer operating system similar to the Unix operating system in term of concepts, features and functionality. It is therefore referred to as a Unix like operating systems so in Linux the core part as you know which is kernel so the base component of the Linux type of operating systems uh, are nothing but the kernel without the kernel the operating system does not work the kernel manages the systems resources and communicates with the hardware it's responsible for memory, process, and file management pur purpose, etc. Okay, let's see about some few information about the history. In 1984, an initiative was undertaken by Richard Stallman with the goal to create a completely free Unix compatible open source operating system with global collaboration from software developers. The initiative was called the GNU or GNU project uh, and by 1991. Significant softwares had been developed. The only critical piece is missing which is known as kernel. Who will drive the operating system around the same time Linux Trobald who was working independently on the development of a kernel during his computer science studies encountered and the availability of his kernel the kernel was given the name Linux and it was gradually integrated with the GNU software to form what is now referred to as GNU Linux. So nowadays Linux is used everywhere. So today more than 99% of the world's supercomputers, more than 80% of the smartphones, many million of desktop computers, around 70% of all web servers a large chunk of tablet computers and several applications dvd players washing machine dslr modem routers self-driving cars space station laptops are runs with linux linux is by far the most commonly used operating system in the world linux manages the point of cell system and the world's stock market and also power some smart TVs and in-flight entertainment systems. Linux provides the funda uh, foundational technology powering the cloud revolution and the tools used to build the next generation of container-based microservices applications as well as the software-based storage technologies and big data solution now Linux also used by the NASA has announced that the Windows XP computers abroad the ISS have been switched to Linux they, mi they migrated the key functions from Linux to Windows to Linux because they needed an operating system that was stable and reliable 
in other news the first human robot in space which name is you know the robonaut 2 which also done the linux is due to for an upgrade soon Linux is also very much used in your transportation of uh, uh, transportation media. Linux is making a big splash in Hollywood studios and research from IBM's media and entertainment division shows that almost all the major studio which shipped to Linux for special effect and for animation purpose. And here first time the titanic movie was shoot using the linux operating system and also my famous uh, my favorite movie uh, the course also uh, used linux for the animation purpose linux is widespread use and if you use the internet at all you are probably already interacting with the linux system in your daily life the most obvious way in which you interact with the Linux system is through browsing the world wide web using e-commerce sites to buy and to sell the products. Now what makes Linux great? Why we should use Linux? So the first very beautiful uh, feature which is open source. Now let's see about open source. So open source or open source code is that set of human readable instructions that are used to make a program. It may be interpreted as a script or compiled into binary executable which the computer runs directly. Upon creating source code, it gets copyrights and the copyright holders control the term under which the software can be copied, adopted and distributed. Users can use this software under a software license. So open source is a term that originally referred to open source software uh, or OSS. Open source software is code that is designed to be publicly accessible. That means anyone can see, can modify, can distribute the code as they see fit. The next very beautiful feature is CLI. The command line interface is your direct access to a computer it where you ask software to perform hardware action that point and click the graphical user interface uh, simply cannot do the task. Linux is a modular operating system that allows you to easily replace or remove the components of the system can be upgraded and updated as needed. A Linux system can be general purpose development workstation and extremely stripped down software application. Open source prompts the collaboration of sharing, transparency and rapid inversion because it encourages the people beyond the original developers to make modifications and improvement to the software and to share it with others. There is more than one way to provide open source softwares, the term of the software license, control how the source can be combined with other code or reused and hundreds of different open source license are exist nowadays. However, to be open source license must be allow user to freely use, view, change, compile and distribute the code. There are two broad, broad class open source license that are a particularly important which is copyleft and permissive. It is a misconception to think that open source is developed by an army of volunteers or even an army of individuals plus red hat. What is Red Hat? So Red Hat is a billion dollar commercial Linux company that puts a lot of efforts in the developing Linux. They have hundreds of Linux specialists 
and are known for their excellent support. They give their product away for free. While Red Hat Enterprise Linux is well tested before release and supported for up to seven years after release. Fedora is a another distro with faster updates but without any support. Red Hat is the world's leading providing open source software solutions using the community powers approach to reliable and high performance cloud, Linux, middleware, storage and virtualization technologies. Red Hat mission to be catalyzed in communities of customer contributors and partners creating better technologies of the open source way. So Red Hat is most well known for the participation in the Linux community and the Red Hat Enterprise Linux distribution. However, Red Hat is also very active in other open source communications, including middleware projects, centered of the JBoss development community, virtualization solution, cloud technologies such as OpenStack and OpenShift, and the safe and cluster storage uh, projects, among others also. So here we are not only having Red Hat uh, distribution in this Linux platform, we have some other distributions also like Debian, Ubuntu, Mint Linux, Fedora and OpenSUSE. Red Hat developed and integrates open source softwares into RHEL through a multi-stage process. Red Hat participates in supporting individual open source projects, it contributes the code uh, to developer time, resources and other support, often collaborating with developers from other Linux distributions. It helps to improve the general quality of software of everyone. The next stage, Red Hat sponsor and integrates open source projects into community driven Linux distributions or Fedora. So Fedora pro provides a free working environment that can serve as a development lab and providing ground for features that are incorporated into their commercial products. And the final step which is that stabilization that software to ensure that is ready for long term support and standardization and integrates into their enterprise their distribution and as of now in IT industry everywhere the Linux is very much popular and also useful for all the IT professionals so here we have the latest version of Red Hat which is 8 previously it was 7 and 6 and what the new things they added in this well 8 we are going to discuss today so we will see some few things what they introduced first time in RHEL 8 like cockpit improvement, YUM 4, Python 3.6, kernel new, new version was released 4.18 and some new container services also included and uh, your cockpit uh, composer and uh, valent features, strategies, some storage related things was introduced by Red Hat. Okay, now where you get the ISO image or the operating system, the latest version of Red Hat. You can see that given links. I will give you that links below the comment. So Web Console is a web-based management interface for Red Hat Enterprise with Linux 8, designed for managing and monitoring the user servers. It is based on the open source cockpit service. You can use web console to monitor the system logs and view the graphs of system performance. Additionally, you can use your web browser to change the setting using graphical tools in the web console interface, including a fully functional interactive terminal session.
first time the app stream was included with your rel 8 operating system and the app application stream was containing the necessary part of the system as well as a wide range of applications previously available as part of the Red Hat software collections and other pro products and programs. So it's just a repository for uh, Red Hat 8 which is introduced first time now. You can use the image builder to create the customized system image of Red Hat Enterprises Linux. It's a tool that enables user to create the customized system image or Red Hat Enterprises Linux uh, with the uh, Amazon Azure dot IMG format dot ISO format OpenStack QCAR2 or TAR and VMware type of images. Prepare for a development on cloud platform image builder automatically handles the detail of the setup for each output type and is thus easier to use and faster to work with the manual method of image creation. You can access the image builder functionality through your command line interface also using the composer-cli tool. Containers are an executable unit of the software in which application code is packaged along with its libraries and the dependencies so in common way to that can be run anywhere with, whether it be uh, on desktop or traditional IT or the cloud instances. So containers are basically very small and faster and portable to because it's, it's not like a virtual machine and container do not need uh, a guest OS uh, in every instance can uh, intended simply invert uh, that features resources on the host OS so first time one system recorder tool was uh, uh, in build with the rel 8 so this system recorder solution is provided within the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and it is based on the T-Log package. The T-Log package and its associated web console session player provide you with the ability to record and playback user terminal sessions. Stratis which is the latest storage concept which is introduced by RHEL 8 operating system and here you will get some functionality like thin provisioning, snapshot and tool based management and monitoring. This topics if you have guys any doubt you can ask me uh, down and definitely I will give you the answers and more thing about the courses you can visit to our website costindia.net. Thank you everyone. Please like my video, subscribe and share it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest videos. Bye.